fastest hypersonic jet has just been unveiled by the U.S. military. The quarter horse made by Hermes is designed to fly faster than any plane before. It sets new records in speed and changes the future of flying. While Russia works on hypersonic jets, the U.S. military has taken a big step ahead with this advanced aircraft. It uses special Chimera engines to go faster and farther than other aircraft. What makes this jet so special? How will it change military power around the world? Join us as we explore the features of the U.S. military hypersonic jet that breaks light speed, ready to fly to Russia. The United States has always been the leader in aviation, and with the quarter horse, it is clear that the push to build faster aircraft is not slowing down. The quarter horse is a hypersonic jet developed by Hermes. It stands as a bold leap in technology that will change everything about national defense. Hermes is the company behind the quarter horse founded by A.J. Piplica. This company has brought a team of engineers together who previously worked on groundbreaking projects for SpaceX and Blue Origin. The mission of these engineers was not just to build another fast plane, but to create something that could outrun the fastest jets while introducing more features in hypersonic speed. Hermes has set out to complete this mission with the Quarter Horse, an unmanned hypersonic jet designed to break the speed of light. Unlike traditional planes, this hypersonic jet is built with a turbine-based combined cycle engine named Chimera. This engine combines elements of turbojet and ramjet propulsion systems that allow the aircraft to move between different speed ranges. Turbojets perform well at lower speeds, while ramjets shine at higher speeds. By joining these two systems together, Hermes makes sure that the quarter horse can operate effectively across a wide range of speeds from takeoff to Mach 4. The quarter horse was not built to break records of other aircraft, but it was built to show what is possible with hypersonic flight. The company plans to use it to test new technologies that could make passenger planes fast enough to fly across the Atlantic Ocean in just 90 minutes. Right now, the fastest flight across the Atlantic was done by the Concorde, taking just three hours to get it done. The Concorde's top speed of 1,354 miles per hour was impressive, but still much slower than hypersonic speeds. Hermes' way of building this hypersonic jet is as groundbreaking as the plane itself. Instead of creating every part from scratch, the company has reused existing technologies to save time and cut costs. Just like the Chimera engine that uses ready-made gas turbine engines that have already been tested and proven reliable over millions of flight hours, this choice speeds up development and makes the aircraft safer and more reliable. This hypersonic jet has a smooth, slim design built for high-speed flight. Its shape reduces air resistance while staying steady, even at very high speeds. The engineers have carefully worked on every part of it, from the materials used to the design of the engine, in order to make sure that the plane can handle the extreme heat and pressure of hypersonic travel. Apart from the technical features mentioned, the company has worked on designing a plane that can be made quickly and at a lower cost without losing performance. One of the most impressive things about this hypersonic jet is how versatile it could be. This has helped the company create even more advanced planes like the Halcyon. This aircraft has already caught the attention of other countries like China and Russia, and it is said to break the record of the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-71 was developed by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. It was built during the Cold War era and was designed to outrun missiles and operate in the most hostile environments. Its primary mission was reconnaissance, which means collecting information while flying at speeds and heights that no other plane could match. It could fly faster than three times the speed of sound, which is over 2,200 miles per hour and as high as 85,000 feet. At these speeds and altitudes, the Blackbird could not be caught by enemy planes or missiles launched from the ground. It was also built to survive. At such extreme speeds, the friction from the air made its titanium surface heat up to more than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to handle this, engineers used advanced materials with more than 85% of the plane made from titanium. This metal was light enough for flying, but strong enough to handle the extreme heat. One of the most amazing abilities of this aircraft was its way of escaping danger. When a missile is launched to attack this jet, it simply flies faster, outrunning the missile. This incredible speed made it almost impossible to catch. However, achieving these abilities came with serious issues. 
The aircraft was a very complex one that needed a lot of maintenance. After every flight, the engineers worked hard to get it ready for the next mission. Its engine, known as Pratt and Whitney J-58, was also special. These engines worked like normal turbojets at lower speeds, but switched to ramjet at higher speeds. This gave the Blackbird its incredible power, but also made it expensive and difficult to operate. While the SR-71 broke aviation records in its time, the Quarter Horse was built to go even further. Unlike the Blackbird, which used traditional jet and ramjet technology, the Quarter Horse is powered by the Khmer engine. This engine makes it easy to switch smoothly between turbojet and ramjet modes. This design makes it efficient at both low and high speeds. The plan of the company was to create different versions of this hypersonic jet. Each of them was made for a specific purpose, and these versions are the MKO, MK1, MK2, and MK3. The MKO is the first version of the Quarter Horse series and serves as a ground-tested prototype. Though it was never used in the sky, it played an important role in testing the key systems. The MKO is a compact, unmanned vehicle designed to be tested on the ground. Its purpose was to calculate how all the components of the aircraft would work together in real-world conditions. This prototype was used to understand the basic systems, finding issues, and making improvements before moving on to the next version. The company designed and built this version in just six months. This fast pace was impressive, especially for such an advanced project. The team tested it at the Arnold Engineering Development Complex, a facility known for its work on advanced aviation projects. During testing, the MKO was put through a series of careful evaluations. These tests were not about turning on the engine and running it at full power. Instead, it was tested to know how well the aircraft could be controlled remotely in order to make sure that instructions could be sent to the vehicles without delay. This was important because the quarter horse is designed to operate without a pilot on board. Another important aspect of the test was to see how the MKO handled the lost link scenarios. This means checking what happens if the remote control signal is interrupted. The vehicle had to be able to switch to backup systems to keep it stable and safe. These tests ensured that the MKO could handle real-world challenges even if things did not go as planned. This version of the Quarter Horse was also used to evaluate how its systems respond to ground handling. This included testing how the aircraft behaved when it moved to the ground but did not take off, as well as how its brakes and steering systems performed. These may look like simple tasks, but for a hypersonic aircraft, even the smallest details must be perfect. The Chimera engine was one of the biggest achievements while testing this version. However, one major issue was the use of many advanced systems in a single aircraft. The MKO was a collection of advanced technologies, and all of them had to work together. Even small errors in software or hardware could cause problems, so every component had to be tested over and over again to ensure that it met the high standard of what the company wants. Also, developing hypersonic technology is expensive, and while the MKO was a low-cost prototype, it still required significant funding to complete. Hermius managed to save money by using ready-made components, but even with these cost-saving measures, making more research and testing requires a lot of money. The company was determined to build and test the first version quickly, which left little room for error. The team had to work faster in order to meet deadlines. Despite these challenges, it was completed in time and met its testing goals. The success of MKO created the way for the next steps in this quarter horse program. It provided the company with important data that allows them to improve their designs and prepare for a more advanced version, which is the MK-1. The MK-1 is the next step in the mission of Hermius to unlock the potential of hypersonic flight. Unlike the previous one, the MKO, which was designed for ground testing, the MK-1 is built to fly. This unmanned jet is the first in the Quarter Horse series that was used in the skies. The primary goal of the MK-1 is to demonstrate the ability to take off, reach high speeds, and land successfully without the use of a pilot on board. In order to do this, the engineers focused on testing key features that are important for hypersonic flight, such as high-speed takeoff and landing, the stability of the system while flying, and how to control it remotely. These tests provided critical data that was used to build better models like MK2 and MK3. One of the amazing features of the MK1 is its use of the Chimera engine. Just like the MKO, it is powered by this turbine-based combined cycle engine, which combines turbojet and ramjet technologies into one system. 
Though it was not able to reach full hypersonic speeds during its first tests, it is designed to prepare for faster speeds in the future. While MKO was built in six months, MK1 was built in just seven months. The team worked at an incredible speed, using lessons learned from the previous version to streamline the design and construction process. By focusing on the existing technologies, the engineers were able to save time and reduce costs without reducing the quality. Testing this aircraft was taken at Edwards Air Force Base. This location has been home to a lot of flight tests, making it the perfect place to test the MK-1. During these tests, it was used without a pilot, with operators controlling it from the ground. This setup was important to ensure the safety of the aircraft and its system while collecting valuable data. The first flight was focused on basic maneuvers, such as takeoff, flying in a straight line and landing. These tests helped the engineers to know how well the aircraft would perform under real-world conditions. Engineers monitored how the Chimera engine changes between the turbojet and ramjet modes because it is one of the most important features for future purposes. One of the biggest challenges of this aircraft is achieving stability at high speeds. Hypersonic jets have unique difficulties such as intense heat, high air pressure, and weather conditions. In order to solve these issues, the company designed the MK-1 with advanced materials and design the shape to make it stable when facing such problems. The aircraft includes advanced control systems that allow operators to make accurate adjustments during flight. Another issue is ensuring the MK-1 can handle repeated flights without significant maintenance. Hypersonic aircraft are subjected to extreme conditions that can wear down the components quickly. To overcome this, the engineers use durable materials and modular systems that make it easier to repair or replace parts when needed. This approach did not only increase the lifespan, but also reduce costs in the long run. The success of MK-1 gave the company the confidence to move forward with the MK-2 and MK-3, which are designed to push the boundaries of hypersonic flight even further. Also, focusing on unmanned hypersonic aircraft, Hermes is creating the way for new possibilities in both military and commercial use. Despite the challenges, the MK-1 laid a foundation for the company, pushing the project closer to its ultimate goal of creating reusable hypersonic vehicles. The MK-2 takes everything learned from the previous versions and pushes the quarter horse up into the next level. It is designed to demonstrate more advanced abilities, focusing on breaking the sound barrier and sustaining supersonic speeds. Unlike its predecessors, it is powered by the Chimera 2 engine a more powerful and advanced version of the previous engine. This engine is the key to the ability of MK-2 to perform at a higher level and reach new records in hypersonic flight. The Chimera 2 engine is a critical upgrade for the MK-2. While the original Chimera engine allowed the MK-1 to change between turbojet and ramjet modes, this new engine improved on this by offering greater efficiency and power. At its core is the Pratt & Whitney F-100 turbojet engine which has already proven itself in military aircraft like the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. However, one of the biggest problems with this hypersonic flight is managing the heat. At speeds approaching Mach 3, the air around the jet generates extreme heat, which can damage the engine and other parts. To handle this problem, the Chimera 2 includes an advanced pre-cooler system. This system rapidly cools the incoming air before it enters the engine preventing overheating and ensuring stable performance. The pre-cooler is one of the most advanced features of the MK-2 and shows a bigger step forward in the world of hypersonic engine design. The MK-2 is also designed to test the durability of its components under extreme conditions. The engineers have equipped the aircraft with high-strength materials that can handle the intense pressures and temperatures associated with supersonic and hypersonic speeds. These materials are not strong or heavy, but they allow the aircraft to maintain its speed and agility. One of the main aims of building MK-2 is to test how well the aircraft can navigate and perform without human intervention. The aircraft relies on advanced control systems that allow it to respond to changing conditions in real time. These systems are designed to ensure smooth and safe operation, even at high speeds. By proving the abilities of the new engine and other advanced technologies, the MK-2 laid the foundation for even faster and more capable aircraft. It provides valuable data on how hypersonic vehicles behave in the real world, helping engineers change their designs and address any weakness. But developing an aircraft capable of hypersonic flight requires some resources in terms of funding. 
The Chimera 2 engine is still a new technology that must be thoroughly tested to ensure that it is reliable. Also, using all the new systems of MK2 at once can have major consequences while flying at high speeds. Another issue is ensuring that it can operate safely and consistently over multiple flights. Hypersonic vehicles face intense wear and tear due to the extreme conditions. The only way to address this is to use durable materials and design the aircraft for ease of maintenance. The goal is to create an aircraft that can be used repeatedly without requiring extensive repairs. The MK3 is the final and most advanced version of Hermes hypersonic program. While the MKO and MK1 laid the foundation and the MK2 pushed forward with improved engines and systems, the MK3 is where the company aims to achieve its biggest goal, which is to break the all-time airspeed record set by the SR-71 Blackbird. The MK3 uses the Chimera 2 engine, but with further upgrades to handle even greater speeds. The hypersonic jet takes the transition between these modes in mid-flight. This transition is important for achieving the high speeds required for hypersonic flight while maintaining stability and efficiency. At speeds as high as Mach 4, heat becomes a massive challenge. The faster the aircraft flies, the hotter it gets. The engineers have developed advanced cooling systems to keep the engine and other parts of the aircraft from overheating. These systems include a pre-cooler, which rapidly lowers the temperature of the air entering the engine and heat-resistant materials for the body of the aircraft. These features ensure that the hypersonic jet can perform at its peak without the risk of damage. Another important feature of this aircraft is its aerodynamic design. The shape of the jet has been carefully built to reduce stress at high speeds. It has a sleek, streamlined body that allows it to cut through air smoothly. This design also helps the aircraft maintain stability even under the intense pressures of hypersonic flight. The advanced control systems of the aircraft were tested. At such high speeds, even the smallest adjustment can make a difference. The MK3 controls are designed to respond quickly and accurately, giving the aircraft the accuracy it needs to handle sharp turns. These systems are controlled remotely, just like their predecessors. The aircraft has gone through a series of tests to evaluate its systems. These tests include the high-speed runs, mid-air changes between turbojet and ramjet modes, and checking how long the jet can sustain hypersonic speeds. Each test provides valuable data that the company can use to improve its technology. The plan of Hermes is to show that the MK3 can be used repeatedly without requiring some repairs. One of the biggest challenges is maintaining stability at such high speeds. Hypersonic flight is unpredictable with changes in air pressure, and the design of this aircraft includes features to handle this issue, such as advanced sensors that monitor the aircraft's condition in real time and systems that make automatic adjustments to keep it steady. Funding and support have been important for the development of the MK3. Hermes has received backing from organizations like NASA and the U.S. Air Force, which sees the potential of hypersonic technology for both military and civilian applications. This support has allowed the company to push the limit of what is possible by creating an aircraft that could break the speed of light. The success of MK3 proves that hypersonic flight is not only possible, but also practical. This could lead to new opportunities in areas like global transportation, where flights that once took hours could be completed in minutes. The technology developed for this aircraft could be completed in minutes. The technology developed for the MK3 could also be adapted for other purposes, from reconnaissance missions to delivering supplies at high speeds. This aircraft is the result of years of hard work, testing, and new ideas. It aims to push the limits of speed, distance, and altitude like never before. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.